Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin, and today we are doing another Monster Mash. I don't know if you've like seen a theme for this month, but obviously since I'm running my Kickstarter right now, I am doing a Monster Mash every Friday. And this one is also a very special episode. I'm going to be doing a collaboration with Louis Loops, who is an amazing crochet artist. I'll have his link down in the description and at the end card, and you should for sure check out what he's gonna be making because he will be crocheting the monster that we are making today. So today I thought it'd be really fun and fitting to make a food -mole to go in the creature compendium. And if you guys haven't already checked it out, I am currently running a Kickstarter. It is going till August 4th and I'm making the complete McKeg creature compendium. Basically it is a book filled with all of my original monsters ranging from ones that have been present on monster mashes to monsters that you haven't seen before. And all of them have like stats and abilities and lore behind them so you can put them in your Dungeon and Dragons game or other tabletop RPG games. If you wanna check it out, that is also going to be down in the description and at the end card. So let's go ahead and start making this creature. So I'm going to start a straw poll and get the suggestions from my Twitch chat and we will figure out what food -a -mole we're going to make today. So the Twitch chat has voted and so we have the two different animals and the food we're gonna combine today. First animal, we had a frog, chinchilla, hippo, minx, or mantis. And the final one was a chinchilla. That's gonna be so cute. And then the second animal was either a cockatoo, a skunk, a gecko, a hummingbird, or a beetle. And we got, oh, it's a gecko and a hummingbird tie. All right, we're gonna have to do a redraw for that one. Or we'll just combine all three, we'll figure that out. And then finally, the food was between brownie, citrus, eggs, lettuce, sushi, pomegranates, and avocados. And brownie won by one vote. So we're going to make a brownie chinchilla. Mm, and I'm trying to decide if we want to do all three of these. Because we could do it. We could pull it off. You know what? Let's do it. We're going to do a chinchilla, a gecko, and a hummingbird with a brownie. I'm going to jump in and do a couple of rough sketches to figure out how to combine these creatures and this food together and just try to figure out how to piece this all into something that works. I'll see you guys in a minute. I have finished the rough sketches for the couple of different looks and this one I'm really torn on. The first two I really like different aspects from both and I think they'd be very adorable but I'm also gravitating towards the fourth one. The third one is just kind of eh, not really my favorite but either way I really like at least three of the designs and it's really difficult for me to pick. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make another straw poll for my Twitch community to vote on and we will pick which one of the designs we're gonna do because I just, I don't know, I like things about one, two, and four, and I just, I don't know which one I wanna do. The Twitch chat has voted, so let's see what they pick of the four designs on that side of the screen. And number four won by two votes. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the fourth design. I do like some aspects from a few others, so I might pull a few things from there, but at least the overall design, we're going with this big fluffy floof ball who's going to be this giant fluff of a brownie and he's gonna be super cute. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in, put him in a much more dynamic and interesting pose, do the line art and color, and then we will be done. I'll see you guys at the end. So for this guy, I had a lot of fun drawing him. I, I really enjoy the food -mals. I think they're some of my favorite monster mashes to make because they're a very interesting challenge. Because for one, you have to make sure to showcase all the different animals that are included in this mash, but you need to also make it look like the food. I think the last one I did was the uh, the sweet tooth cat or like the the cheetah combo one. And that one was a very interesting combo to try to pull off in general. And this one was also kind of in the same, I guess, idea. Cause I had certain ideas when I was doing the sketch, for example, the top of the head, I wanted to have like the feathers from the hummingbird, but I was like, no, I really need to make it look more like a food. So then what I kind of figured out was doing like whipped cream instead for the different like extra bits of fur or feathers or whatever. I just, basically, I think the hardest part about doing the food moles is trying to figure out, all right, I have this texture or this thing from an animal, 
but I need to convert it and make it into a food item. But even with that challenge, it was a lot of fun to do this one. I especially liked the prompt of brownie just because it left it kind of open-ended. Basically, I could, you know, pick from a lot of different brownies and flavors and looks. So it gave me a lot of different options of what to experiment with and play with to make this creature. So I first started out with the line work, which you guys can see I just finished up. And then I added a base layer of a color to start with. So then I could kind of get some ideas put in in terms of the coloring and I really liked the idea of when you make sometimes when you make brownies they have like the different layers for the different flavors or different colors so I thought that would be really fun to add into this guy plus it would add a nice little pop of extra color because I already had I did have to think about adding in the hummingbird color and little bits from the gecko but I wanted to just I don't, I don't know, make it brownie-ish, but still add some cool patterning that could look like it would be an animal in real life. So then after adding in that brown color, I went in and added the bits of the whipped cream, and I decided to also add some darker browns here and there. And I think he looked really cute as I slowly started to piece in and put the different colors into place. It just, it slowly came together. And I know that I wanted to add um, a couple more colors into this guy. It just that was the other struggle is I wasn't sure how to add color without making it not look like a brownie But I decided to add in a couple colors from the hummingbird which were like in the like greens and pinks And that turned out really well like I think it added a nice little bit of color to it And it also lended later on I put in sprinkles that are in the same color tier So then it kind of just all worked together pretty well And then I always wonder with the food emuls, like, I know that they're an animal combined with a food. So then for this guy, would he be, I don't know, I guess he would have to be a living creature so he can't be just made out of like brownie texture. Like, I don't know. I don't know how like food emuls would physically work. Like, would they have like the internal organs and things of the animal itself? Or would they be more like the texture and consistency of the thing that they're made of? So would this be like a fluffy brownie on the inside? I don't know. That's another random, random thought of Caitlin today as she's recording. I don't know. It just came to mind and I always wonder like if you were to not to, I don't know, not to sound super dark, but if you were to cut this thing open, <laughs> would it be an animal on the inside or a food on the inside? I don't know. I've always wondered that with a couple of different food emuls. Some of them are a little bit more obvious. I'm like, well, yeah, that one might be more animal on the inside. But then there's some that I'm like, I don't know. Would it be more like a food or <laughs> what would it be? Oh God, guys, I'm just, I don't know what I'm going on about, but that was just the random thought of the day. And then also during the Twitch chat, we kind of realized he looked like a basically a better, newer version of a chocolate bunny. So we had the idea of putting him in a little Easter basket-like setting, and that made it super cute. It added like a little bit of a, a background flair and also gave it context to where this thing would be. But it'd be kind of sad to gift this thing. I would hope you'd keep it as a pet and not just like it literally is a chocolate bunny or it's a real animal in the real like in the the world of monster mashes but then they gift these as if they're chocolate bunnies we'll go with that maybe that that's how it is but this one's the real one but it's not the chocolate bunny i don't know either way i think he looks cute in the end and overall i love it and his coloring and he's just so cute we have finished this monster mash and i think it turned out both delicious and adorable we have now officially dubbed this creature in the Twitch chat to be called the Choco Chilla, and I think that is an adorable name. And on top of it, we kind of see this as like the new and improved chocolate bunny that you'd get at Easter. I know this is completely the wrong time of year for it, but whatever. I think he looks cute as like a little chocolate bunny on his patch of grass and his basket. So just to break down the creature a little bit for you guys, the overall body shape is the chinchilla. And then I added what were gonna be kind of like feathers to the top of its head and around its ears, but I made it more into like a whipped cream type of mane with the little hummingbird wings. And the front legs are supposed to be more like the gecko legs. And then the tail, the top part is like the gecko tail. And then it has like a chinchilla floof along the bottom and to make this even more brownie-ish, I added sprinkles to the top and kind of a band of what looks like a caramel filling of a color that goes down the middle and then a little bit on the chest. And then I also have the hummingbird tongue which is licking up some caramel from inside a little caramel egg and then some more sprinkles on the face and just little bits and bobs to make it look 
just like this adorable edible animal. Anyway, I think this guy turned out adorable. I love all the elements we added and how cute he turned out. And I'm really excited to see how this guy is converted into a little crochet creature. So make sure to check out Lulu's channel and check out the video that he does where he creates this into a little crocheted creature. I'm really excited to see how it turns out. Make sure to check him out. He's a really nice guy. Give him a subscribe and tell him I said hello. So thanks again guys so much for stopping by and checking out this video. And if you aren't already, you can go and hit that subscribe button. I have new videos every week ranging from monster mashes to creature creations to a bunch of stuff with art. And I would really appreciate it if you guys checked out the Kickstarter. This creature will be available in that book. So if you wanna check out, the link is in the description down below. There's lots of cool exclusive prizes and different things you can get through the Kickstarter. So please go check it out. I'd really appreciate any support you have to offer. Thanks again guys for stopping by and I will see you all next time. Bye everybody.